Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this week's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can get involved in local politics and I'm going to be showing you all what I do to try to create change in my community. So today is a very exciting day for me. If you follow me on social media, you probably already know this, but I'm going to be presenting at the Cambrian Community Council tonight about transportation in our area. So I'm a little bit scared because I'm probably going to be the youngest person in the room. I'm definitely going to be the youngest person presenting and our new San Jose City Council member is probably going to be there as well. But I feel pretty prepared. I made myself this little outline for my presentation. And I also made this handout to give people at the meeting. And the handouts are gonna be printed on eight and a half by 11 sheets. So the font should be big enough for all of the seniors to read. If you're a young person who's involved in local politics, you're probably gonna be mostly working with people who are a lot older than you. It can be a little bit intimidating sometimes, but it's really important to try to work with people across generations. They can help you, you can help them, and then everybody will be happy. A lot of community councils and organizations are mostly run by retired people, at least in my area. But I think that if you do wanna be involved in local politics, you really need to go to these meetings and also city council meetings and board of supervisors meetings and other meetings that are relevant to what you're trying to advocate for just so that you can get your name out there and learn about the process. So my number one bit of advice is just to show up to meetings. I think online petitions and social media activism have their place but it's also really important to go to actual meetings as well. So I think that's pretty much everything that I want to say for now. I'm going to go print out the handouts and my outline and I'm also going to get changed because I don't really want to wear an SJSU sweatshirt to this. So it's a bit later now and I did my hair and changed my clothes. And I also printed out the handouts, so I'm gonna head to the meeting in a few minutes. I'm going alone, so I don't have anyone to film for me. So I'll talk to you all after the meeting. So I'm back from the meeting now, it went really well. The council agreed to help me, so I'm really excited. Unfortunately, our new council member, Pam Foley, was unable to attend due to a family emergency, but she's gonna come to the next meeting and I'm also gonna present there as well. So with some updates from the VTA board meeting that's happening on Thursday. One of the hardest parts of the meeting was just waiting until my agenda item came up. I had to sit there stressing out about it for like an hour while they talked about everything else. But they finally got to my agenda item, it was one of the last ones. And I gave my presentation and everyone seemed really impressed that a young millennial such as myself could actually make some good points and do some research and stuff. So the moral of the story is don't be afraid to be the youngest person in the room. Show up to meetings even if you go alone. I went alone to this. None of my friends or family went with me. I did know some of the council members from before, so it wasn't like I was walking into a room with complete strangers, but it all turned out okay. It's Currently about 10 p.m. The meeting was really long, but they spent about 30 minutes on my agenda item, so that was great. But since I have work early tomorrow, I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna go to bed. So it's the next day, it's Tuesday now, and I was at work all day. But while I was on the way to work this morning, I wrote a next door post about all of the proposed GTA changes and I talked about how people in my area can take action. For those of you that don't know, Nextdoor is kind of like a Facebook, but for your local community. And it's been a really helpful app for me over the years for connecting with my local community. So this is the post that I made as some images and then some more information. So for any of you that are maybe a little bit younger or a little bit less connected, with your local community, I would highly recommend getting next door so you can talk to people in your area and try to get people organized because I've been able to get organized with my neighbors on next door in the past and I'm trying to do that again right now. So it's the next day now and I'm just working on my public comment for the VTA Board of Directors meeting tomorrow. For those of you that don't know, VTA is the transit agency in my area and they're proposing to cut a lot of routes, one of which is in my area. So I'm going to be making a comment about that and talking about why I think they should keep it because the route actually serves my school and my neighborhood. Instead of trying to pretend that the route has great ridership when it really doesn't, I won't argue that they should keep it because they approved transit-oriented development in the area. And if there's no transit, is it really transit-oriented development? And basically argue that they should either add more parking to the development and make it not transit-oriented development or keep the transit route in the area so that it's still transit-oriented development. Ultimately, in the future, once VTA has a little bit more funding, I do want to advocate for much better transit service in our area, especially once the new development is finished. Because our intersection is already failing and it's going to be really bad to have thousands of more cars driving here and obviously it's going to be terrible for the environment as well. That's what I'm planning on making my public comment about. So my advice to any of you who are making public comments at meetings like this is to write everything down ahead of time and time it if there's a time limit for public comments because it really sucks when you get cut off because then you can't have the strong ending that you probably want to have. So I think that's pretty much everything that I want to say. For now, I'm going to get back to work on my public comments and I'll talk to you all tomorrow probably either before the meeting or after after the meeting. So it's the next day, it's Thursday, it's the day of the PTA board meeting, and I'm just outside at Starbucks, and I've just been prepping for the last hour or so, because I got here really early. 
And now I'm gonna go to the meeting across the street, so wish me luck. So I'm back and it's actually the next day because while I was at the meeting, I found out there was a shooting going on in Davis. And one of my very close friends goes to school in Davis and was actually very close to where the shooting happened. So I was obviously really worried and I was just watching the news and, and I didn't end up going to sleep until after one when the suspect was eventually caught. My friend is okay and everything. So I just wanna talk a little bit about the meeting and how it went and, and what y'all should expect at meetings like this. Just wanna put a disclaimer out there and say that I live in Santa Clara County in California so things might be a little bit different in different counties and different states but the agenda item that I wanted to speak on was 7.2 so I had to wait about two and a half hours to speak and as I think I was talking about in an earlier clip someone from the Cambrian Community Council actually came to the meeting also and spoke as well so he actually ended up speaking first even though I submitted my comment card first but it didn't really matter we both got to speak I'm not going to go into all the details about what we said if you do want to check out our public comments. I'll put a link to the live stream in the description below. Basically, we were arguing to preserve a transit route in our area. And I think we made really strong arguments. We actually ended up talking to their outreach team afterwards and we're in the process of setting up a community meeting right here in Cambrian Park for early February so people in the area will get to voice their concerns. So that's really great. That's exactly what I wanted to get out of this meeting. I think that it really helped that there were two of us there because I think that it showed that people of Cambrian Park really do care about transportation and care about these sorts of issues. So if you are a young person that wants to get involved in local politics and you don't have any friends that are willing to go to these sorts of things with you, I would suggest reaching out to your neighborhood organizations and community councils because to be honest, members of the older generation are a lot more likely to show up. This guy from the council that I went with, his name is Cole. I just told him all the details about this plan on Monday. I think he knew a little bit about it beforehand, but he found out about the majority of the plan on Monday and he was surprisingly willing to go to this meeting with me and he actually sat through the entire meeting which ended up being more than four hours long so that was really awesome and really surprising and just really great i think that since these meetings are usually really long a lot of young people don't like to come which is really unfortunate but i think that they are worth going to especially because you do get the opportunity to talk to people that are making these decisions and if you stay for the entire meeting you'll probably be able to talk to them one-on-one -on -one afterwards which is really useful i obviously think that local politics should be more accessible to young people i don't think that you should have to wait through a four-hour meeting to give a two-minute public comment i think that these board members should have office hours in different ways that people can get in contact with them. But this is the situation that we're in right now, so I think we just have to deal with it for the time being and just try to show up and make our voices heard. I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say in this video. Obviously, this was not an average week. I did have a lot of things going on, but this is something that sometimes does happen when you are involved in local politics and you are trying to advocate for certain policies. Perfect for the meetings took a lot of time and energy and I really had to do my research and it ended up working in both cases and it was completely Really worth every single minute that I spent on it. So with that, good luck to anyone who's young and wants to get involved in local politics. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or DM me. I'm always open to answering any questions that you all have, especially about local politics because I really do want to get more young people involved in it. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.